Welcome to chapter 6. This is the first section, Polygon Angle Sum Theorems. We are going to be finding the sum of the measures of the interior and exterior angles of a polygon. So, the sum of the three angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees, and we know that from the Triangle Sum Theorem. But what about a quadrilateral? So if we were to take this quadrilateral and draw a diagonal, we end up with two triangles. So each triangle is going to have 180 degrees, which means we would have 2 times 180, which is going to be 360 degrees. If we look at a pentagon, how many triangles can be drawn? We have one we can connect the diagonal here, so there's one triangle, and we can connect this, and we have three triangles. So that means we would have 3 times 180. 3 times 180 is 540 degrees. And with a hexagon, we can draw 1, 2, 3, and we have 4 triangles. So we'd have 4 times 180, and that gives us 720 degrees. So notice, with three sides, we have one. Four sides, we have two triangles. Four sides, two triangles. Here we have five sides, three triangles. Here we have six sides with four triangles. Which brings us to the polygon angle sum theorem. The polygon angle sum theorem says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an n-agon, and an n-agon is any shape, n is the number of sides, is n minus 2 times 180. And that will give us the measure, the number, the measure of the interior angles of any n-agon. And we use that theorem, the polygon angle sum. So what is the sum of the interior angle measures of a heptagon? Remember, the formula is n minus 2 times 180. n is the number of sides. So a heptagon has 7 sides. So this would be 7 minus 2 times 180, which is 5 times 180. And 5 times 180 is 900 degrees. Now, interestingly, heptagon would be the Greek. You could also do it in the Latin, which would be septagon. What is the sum of the interior angles of a 17-agon? So this would be 17 minus 2 times 180. So 17 minus 2 is 15. 15 times 180 is 2,700. So the sum of the angles would be 2,700 degrees. Now we're going to work backwards. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,980. How can you find the number of sides? So here we're going to use the formula. But 1,980 is going to equal n minus 2 times 180. So we can divide both sides by 180, which would give us 11. And that is n minus 2. So now to find out how many sides, we'll add 2 to both sides. n would equal 13. So we have a 13-sided figure. So now here in this, we can figure out what, we, what we're working with. So this is a pentagon. So a pentagon would be 5 minus 2 times 180. So that's 3 times 180, which is 540. So now we're trying to figure out this missing angle. So we would have 90 plus 120 plus 150 plus 110 plus x. This is going to be x equals 540. So we can combine like terms. 90 plus 120 plus 150 plus 110. And that gives us 470. 
So 470 plus x equals 540. Subtract that from 540, and we find that x equals 70 degrees. Or angle y, I should say. And in here we have a quadrilateral. So quadrilaterals, remember, that's 4 minus 2 times 180, and that would give us 360. So we can have 120 plus 85 plus 53 plus angle G equals 360. So 120 plus 85 plus 53 is 258 plus angle G equals 360, so we can subtract that from 360, and angle G is 102 degrees. There are special types of polygons. An equilateral polygon is a polygon with all sides congruent. An equiangular equiangular, let me make that more of a U instead of an A, an equiangular po polygon is a polygon with all angles congruent. And finally we have a regular polygon, and this is where the magic happens. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. That brings us to the corollary of the polygon angle sum theorem, which says the measure of each interior angle of a regular enagon is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So you take the total degrees and divide by the number of sides and that will give you the angle measure. So let me make that a little bit clearer. That is the corollary to the polygon angle sum theorem. So how do we use this? Find the measure of one interior angle of a regular dodecagon. A dodecagon is a 12-sided figure. So we have to figure out, we're just going to plug in 12 to this formula. So we'd have 12 minus 2 times 180, and we'd divide by 12. So we'd have 10 times 180, which is 1,800. Divide that by 12 to get 150 degrees. So each angle, each interior angle, equals 150 degrees. A regular nonagon, this is 9 sides. So this is 9 minus 2 times 180 divided by 9. So that is 7 times 180, which is 1,260. Divide that by 9, and we have 140. Each interior angle. Now use the pentagons below to sketch and label their five exterior angles. So we're exterior, we're looking for angles outside. So we can draw that, 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 that. And it kind of looks like a throwing star. One, two, I did it again. There we go. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five. And that brings us to the polygon exterior angle sum theorem, which says the sum of the measures of the exterior angle of a polygon, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. So no matter what shape you have, the exterior angles will always add up to 160 degrees. One exterior angle of a regular polygon can be found by dividing 
360 by n, 360 by the number of sides. Now we're going to use that formula. So find the exterior angle measure of a regular octagon. So we know that the exterior angles always add up to 360. So we're going to take 360 and divide that by 8. And 360 divided by 8 is equal to 45 degrees. So this would be 45 degrees, each one of those angle measures. What is the measure of an exterior angle of a regular nonagon? So a nonagon, again, has nine sides. So this would be 360 divided by 9. And 360 divided by 9 is equal to 40 degrees. So, how does this all work out? Let's make a little table here. The sum of the interior angles of non-regular polygons, n minus 2 times 180. And the same thing with regular polygons, n minus 2 times 180. To find one interior angle of a non-regular polygon, we cannot do that. But to find one interior angle of a regular polygon, we're going to use n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, the number of sides. The sum of exterior angles of non-regular polygons is 360. And it is the same thing for regular polygons. One exterior angle, we cannot find what the measure of one exterior angle is. There's no formula for that. However, one exterior angle of a regular polygon can be found by taking 360 divided by the number of sides. So that's it for this section. Please take a look at the practice problems, and I will catch you guys later.